Judge Rex van Skalkwijk joins us uh, with a right of reply to a uh, emotive interview that I had with Leon Lowe, the co-founder and until recently chief executive and president of the Free Market Foundation. Rex, Leon Lowe doesn't like you. He's sent out a, 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 priv- a public letter. He's also told me in the interview that uh, you are, well, a part of the reasons or a big part of the reason for his unhappiness. And we'll get into that in a moment, though. The most important allegation that Leon made was that under your leadership, the Free Market Foundation is no longer apolitical. Uh, yes, yes, Alec. Um, it is an important allegation that he's made. Uh, but I would think that there's something a little more important than that. It, it bears a relationship to the question that you've asked. And, and that is when he says that, um, that I in particular, but um, uh, Gail Day, who is the, the, chief, the, 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 the chief executive of the executive committee, she's the chairperson of the executive committee, and I have been consistently accused by, by uh, Leon of destroying the free market foundation so it's it's more than just a change of emphasis of which she accuses us and if that was the only issue i don't think it would be all that serious uh, because under a new form of management one would expect to see some changes in emphasis not not that one goes about it in a deliberate fashion um, I concluded some time ago, and that was before I became the chairman of the, of the, of the board, uh, while I was, as I still am, the chairman of the, the rule of law board, that there were certain issues that, that required our urgent attention, especially under the rubric, the rule of law. And it was in those circumstances that certain changes in emphasis came about. Now, I should immediately emphasize that, um, that Leon Lowe, was and is a, a member of the Rule of Law Board. So he sits on that board as well. And he was present yeah, at all Rex, of our deliberations. I'm fairly certain. We, we, you know, I know you guys have got your internal fight that's going on here, but from the outside, from as far yeah. as, as, as the external, and, and we really don't care about most people, don't care, he said, she said, is irrelevant to us. What worries people like me mm. looking from the, ins- uh, from the outside? is has the Free Market Foundation lost its position as being a voice for reason or for promoting the free enterprise message in South Africa at a time when it really needs it? What you guys and what you and Leon Lowe have have said and haven't said and how much you dislike each other, that's kind of irrelevant. The, The most important thing from the outside is, are you apolitical? Are you still apolitical? Do you have entree, for instance, into all uh, sectors of the political spectrum? Well, Alec, that, that question is really quite hard to answer because on the one hand, you ask whether we've, uh, we've deviated from the principle of, of individual liberty and, and, and the free market, which we emphatically have not done. But on the other hand, you're asking whether we're apolitical. Well, I don't see how in the South African context uh, an NGO of the kind that we are can possibly be apolitical in the true sense of the word. There are issues that impact upon upon the free market, upon the liberty of the individual, uh, which are part of government policy. And we've been told that repeatedly, even at the time when when Soror Ramaphosa took over from his predecessor, uh, there was a hope among some people that the things would change. But in fact, they haven't changed. And in some respects, they've got, got worse. The issue of expropriation without compensation for, 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 for property, for instance, is, is a burning issue. And one can't address that issue without some politicization of the issue. It's just not possible. Uh, likewise, another burning issue upon which Leon himself was in, consulted at the, uh, at the Rule of Law Board and upon which he agreed, as a matter of fact, is the effect that the Legal Practice Act has upon the independence of the legal practice, the legal profession, and upon ultimately upon the independence of the judiciary. Now, those are critical issues. They're critical issues of individual liberty and of freedom of the markets. And one cannot address those issues in the way in which we must address them without, without becoming embroiled in the politics. It's not possible. 
So that is, it, it, that's a longer answer, but it, 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 it is as mm. short as I can make it. But is there no way that you can just state the facts without becoming political? Well, we, we do state the facts, but in stating the facts, you're, you're confronting the, the government and its policies. In stating the facts on, on expropriation without compensation, for instance, you know, one is bound to say this is going to be a ruinous of the economy. You're bound to say that. So you, there must be a comment attached to, 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 to the fact. Now, as soon as you make that comment, the, the, the criticism is implicit. It's not possible to, 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 to read that otherwise than, than by saying, well, this, this person is criticizing the government. But the criticism is justified in the circumstances. So, you know, the, the, the idea that we can continue to be effective as, as, a, as a, a, a guiding force of individual liberty and of free markets is, is totally illusory if we believe that we can do it without becoming embroiled in politics in South Africa. Everything in South Africa has become political. The government has made it so. He alleges that the Free Market Foundation has become very close to the DA. In fact, that it's become a DA mouthpiece. Your thoughts? That's nonsense. That's nonsense. It's not true. It's nonsense. That is my short he also, answer. He also says that the um, between the two of you, uh, that he wrote you a letter in confidence, which you then made public. Well, I, I don't know which letter he's referring to there. Is, is that the one in which he, he called upon me to resign? Well, Indeed. that letter was not head, headed uh, private and confidential. Um, and I certainly didn't regard it as, as, as confidential. It was a matter that, that actually afflicted the entire board. Because if, as he says, um, I am the corrupter of the board and the corrupter of the Free Market Foundation, it is essentially an issue that must be shared with the board. I don't see how I can treat it confidentially. And what he said in that letter was that uh, I, should, I should resign with honor while I can instead of presiding over the destruction of the Free Market Foundation. Now, those were his very words. I think I'm quoting him precisely. How, how could I deal with that in confidence between myself and Leon? It was an issue that affected the entire board. And I shared it with the board. And how did the board react? Well, they, 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 they were unhappy about it. Let's, let's put it at its mildest. Uh, so some people expressed very strong views and others kept their, kept their counsel to themselves. But that is, the, that is a, a function of the personalities involved. Some people are more forthcoming than others. But what I can tell you is that I, I am convinced that I support that I, that I enjoy the, 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 the unqualified support of the board, which is more than I can say for Leon Lowe. And I mean, we're, we're all liberal and libertarian by inclination. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think in that context, some of the allegations that he's made have been uh, very serious, and perhaps you can address those as well in the conversation and in his letter. He says that under your direction, the Free Market Foundation has moved to a culture of secrecy, bias, discrimination, censorship, propaganda. That's completely the opposite of libertarianism. Your thoughts? Well, it is. It is, and, and, and that's why it's important to consider whether I'm telling you the truth when I say that, uh, that I and the remainder of the board, I'm fairly certain that I speak for every member of the board and, and the staff as well are classical liberals in the classical liberal sense of the word, not, not in the reactionary or the, not in the radical left-wing sense of the word that has become popular today. But more than that, um, I go further for myself, and I don't want to, 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 to talk about myself in any sort of detail, but unfortunately I must. I'm a libertarian, and there are other members of the board who are libertarians as well. Now, those allegations, and, and they are dishonest, they are simply not the truth. Those allegations about us becoming secretive and, and, and uh, underhand and, and, and manipulative and all the rest of it, all the adjectives that he uses against us all the time, um, are simply untrue. How, how I mean, my, my, my credibility depends upon 
my word now, but if anybody wants to question that credibility, I've written a great deal, among other things, for, 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 for your publication. And, and what I've had to say has been consistent. Um, and, uh, and anybody who wants to check to see whether I'm a libertarian or whether I'm a sham libertarian can read what I've, had to, uh, what I've written. It's there, it's, it's there to be seen. So, so Leon is simply not telling the truth, I'm afraid. He told us that he has raised most of the money for the Free Market Foundation, but that he has now gone back to the funders to tell them to withdraw their support. Has that happened? Well, I, I don't know whether it has, but it does, does give an important insight into, into Leon's disposition and into his mentality. And I should tell you by way of background, because this is, this is verifiable, once again, in, in writing he has done so. He has said um, orally and in writing in the past that if he doesn't get his way, he will destroy the Free Market Foundation. And this is yet another step in that direction. There is no surer way of destroying the Free Market Foundation than, than to d deprive, him of it, deprive it of its funds. And uh, the fact that he was prepared to make that admission openly to you as he did, shows the extent of the recklessness of his conduct. And his conduct has become reckless. It's a very sad state of affairs when you've got the man who was the personification <clears throat> of a foundation, one that he co-founded, one that he says was his life's work, who is now no longer wanted there and indeed has, in your words, become reckless. What happened? Alec, it's, it's the, the hardest question for me to answer because I don't know. Um, I, I've always been an admirer of, 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 of Leon. I've, I've known him for, for years. Um, and we worked closely together on the rule of law board and, and we never had any disagreement. There were issues of debate, of course, as there always are, but uh, there, there were no fundamental disagreements between us. And I, I can tell you that at an early stage of my chairmanship of the rule of law board, I beg your pardon, of the Free Market Foundation, he wrote me a note of which I have a copy. And in fact, he has a copy because it's propped up in the, in the recent inquiries, in the disciplinary inquiry. And this is how it read. It said, uh, Hi, Rex. Last night I had a groot skruk. It came to me that you might resign as chairman. Well, and a few months later, he was asking me to resign. Now, how does, how does one explain this, this contrast? Except, of course, if I had changed fundamentally as an individual. Well, I leave it to my colleagues and, and to the board to decide whether I'm the one who's changed fundamentally or whether Leon has. So what happens into the future, getting back to the concerns that outsiders have? This has been an organization that, is, that has waved a flag that hasn't really enjoyed much resonance in South Africa, but now is needed more than ever given the mess that the country's gotten itself into by yeah. trying everything <clears throat> other than free enterprise. What happens to the Free Market Foundation now? Well, what, what, what will happen under, under our watch is, is that it will continue and that it will prosper. But we must put this very, very sad and unfortunate chapter behind us. Now, the question has been raised by people of goodwill. I, I accept that there are people of goodwill. Um, to say, well, why can't we put the past behind us and come to an arrangement, come to, to, to a settlement and an arrangement for the way future, for, for the way into the future? Well, that is what we attempted to do when Leon was made the president of the organization. And that was during the, the, the first few months of my chairmanship of the board. Uh, this document was drafted essentially between Leon and Temba Nolachungu, Temba has been with the Free Market Foundation not quite as long as, as Leon has, but very nearly as long, certainly for decades. And, and he has all the interests of the Free Market Foundation at heart. Uh, between the two of them, they came up with a draft document, which was uh, tweaked to some extent, and, and then eventually it was signed. Now, there's a critical two clauses in that contract. And the one is that Leon will have no further part in the administration or the executive activities of the Free Market Foundation. The other, even more important clause, is a clause which is written in rather quaint language, because the clause stipulates that uh, Leon will be left to do 
<coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Leon will be left to do what Leon does best, the very words, I'm quoting the very words. And the intention was that, that Leon would continue to do at his own pace and in his own way and without any direction from us or from anyone else, what he does best. What we were doing there was acknowledging that there are certain things about which and in respect of which Leon is peerless. We acknowledge that fact and we acknowledge it in the document. Uh, the trouble is that the ink was hardly dry on the document when Leon started to breach the terms and he started to interfere with administration. He started to interfere with the executive functions. So we actually did attempt that. We attempted that two years ago, almost two years ago. And we've come to this pretty pass at the moment as a result of a failed attempt to, 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 to come to an arrangement. So I'm afraid it's too late. There's, there's been too much water under the bridge and unfortunately there, there's been too much abuse. Uh, we members of the, of the, of the, of the board and, and Gail Day and myself in particular have been subjected to a torrent of abuse by Leon and by his very small coterie of supporters. He creates the impression that he's got significant support within the uh, membership of the Free Market Foundation. I can tell you that every time that we've had a meeting and the meetings have been properly conducted and properly convened, uh, the Leon faction has been beaten in every single vote by a margin of 8 to 2. In fact, 8.5 to 1.5. That is the margin by which, by which uh, the, the Leon faction was beaten. So it's quite false to, 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 to assume, as, as Leon has wanted to, to, to suggest, that he has significant support within the rank and file of the membership. He doesn't. We do. So the question again is, what happens next? Leon Lowe did say that he has or will <clears throat> be tendering his resignation as both president and a member of the Free Market Foundation. Given the publicity that this has generated, have you seen a torrent of resignations from others who support his view? And where do you see things ending up? Yeah. We've we certainly haven't seen a torrent of resignations. Uh, we've seen one or two belated resignations, one of which I've, I've actually taken note from an individual who, who calls himself a, a supporter of Leon. Well, it doesn't surprise me that that such such a that people who categorise themselves in that way would would resign or want to resign. But there, there are very few of them, and we most certainly haven't seen a torrent of resignation. But if Leon has his way and manages somehow or other to, to halt the funding of the Free Market Foundation, well, then the Free Market Foundation will come to an end. And we will not allow that. We will not allow that to happen. We will take whatever necessary steps in order to prevent that. And Leon must be aware as a lawyer that the threat that is uttered is, in fact, an unlawful one. This is so a right the question. Mm -hmm. The question is, what is the way forward? What is the way forward? Well, the way forward is a parting of the ways. Uh, and, and in fact, Leon has, has, has uh, given notice, but we have, we have summarily terminated. The board has summarily terminated his, his, his uh, not his employ, his uh, consultancy. Because it, it, uh, the, the, although there was some ambiguity, there's, it's accepted now that, that he was a consultant and not an employee, therefore not subject to the labor laws of the country. And, and the breaches of which we accused him in the disciplinary inquiry still stand. They haven't been dealt with. And we say that as a consultant, he was, he was, he was guilty of those breaches. And any one of them would justify the summary termination of, uh, of his consultancy. And that's what we've done. This is a right of reply. So you have the last word. <laughs> Well, I, I sincerely hope that this matter will be put to rest and that it will be put to rest in the, in, in the, in the, the appropriate mood. I know that there's been a lot of anger. I know that there's been a lot of uh, vindictive accusations. And I know that there, there is perhaps a sense of, of, of grievance Certainly, there's a sense of grievance amongst the members of the board and, and, and by the individuals who have been afflicted by these relentless attacks. Um, but it is something that we must put behind us. And hopefully, Leon will, will put this unfortunate chapter behind him as well. 
Um, I have always had a great admiration for, for, for Leon's skills and his ability to communicate uh, the interests of the Free Market Foundation. And it's a great shame that the matter has come to this. Uh, I regret it very deeply, but it's unfortunately an unavoidable situation. Judge Rex, Rex van Skalkwijk is the chairman of the Free Market Foundation, and I'm Alec Hogg from biznews.com.